Hello student, today's topic is element and phases of management. Introduction. The earliest term used for management was administration. Even today, most people use these two terms interchangeably. All administrators will accomplish managerial duties, but few managers will function as an administrator. Management reflects a wide spectrum of contiguous responsibilities, such as planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling, supervision, and control, evaluation, readjustment, improvement, and follows up, etc., and not simply send teaching. In an organization, things go by smoothly only when people learn to know. Number A, what and how to see their objective. Number B, realize what their resource and potentialities are. And number C, understand how to organize their effort and economize on their energy. The chief element in the entire managerial process is men. Precisely, resource management and goal accomplishment are possible through men and men only. The scope of management in physical education can be discussed from the two perspectives. Number one, organization involved. In sports such as a voluntary organization, government department, corporate and a private organization. And number two, area of concern such as management of program development, financing, personal material, performance, office and infrastructure. The next point to be discussed is planning. Planning is an intellectual process. The conscious determination of the courses of action, the basic of decision on the purpose, fact and consider estimates. It is the core of all the management. Usually, planning involves the setting of objectives, making policies, statement, and a detailed description of the means, process, and procedure through which the objectives are to be achieved. In physical education, planning is involved in designing curricular activity program, intramural and extramural competition, instruction and classes, budget preparation, and appointment of the teachers, coaches, and student leaders. Planning is a complex but continuous process and is undertaken by the administrator, executive, director, courses, teachers, within the ambit of the delegate authority. The three units in the plan may be designated as follows. Instruction and unit, service unit, and administrative unit. It covers all the area of management uniformly budgeting perhaps, and it is the most concrete and crucial element of the entire planning process. The important steps are as follows. Number one, beware of opportunities. Number two, establishing objectives. Number three, development of planning premises or assumption. Number four, collection of the data. Number five, identifying and appraising alternatives. Number six, selection of alternatives. And number seven, follow-up actions. Next point is organizing. Organizing is a process or state of being in which two or more people coordinate their effort and pool their resources to achieve given purpose. It involves the creation of a well night structure which must function cohesively. Implementation of plan is at the heart of organization process. An organization, it is a department, a business concern, an institution, or a body of individuals. Consists of a number of units and subunits, it's meant by a group of skilled and or unskilled individuals, and assign some specific jobs. Like various 
and atomic systems. All these units have to work in coordination with one another for achievement of the common goals. The process and procedure of organizing special programs are even specific. For example, a play day is organized as occasion of the informal fun and frolic, a ceremonial parade or a mass activity, demonstration called by the solemnity, formality, orderliness and discipline. It may be impracticable to prescribe and rigid organization and procedure for each and every event or occasion. It is worthwhile to offer a few sample and lips raised to ingenuity and intelligence of the physical educators. The organizing agency that is a school, college or university or a sports department of an inter-school, inter-college, sports tournament, should set up a committee of the representative of the various participating units to conduct the proceedings. Generally, the organizing committee is constituted from out of the school, college, faculty, or physical education personnel or sports department staffs only. Must will define on level and dimension of the competition. For instance, a dual triangular or quadrangular meet would not require a large organizing committee. The Department of the Physical Education take care of all the organization and aspects of the tournament in case of a tournament being organized at a district level or inter-university level or beyond the constitution of an organizing committee and a subcommittee is obligatory. The organizing committee should comprise top education and administrative and technical officials with chairman, secretary, and other office bearer, duly elected or nominated as per requirement and conveniences. The next third point is staffing. Staffing means employing and deploying the personnel at various positions. It involved creating vacancies, making recruitment, and appointing personnel. In its wider dimension, staffing cover orientation, training, development, and placement of the personnel. It may refer to those behavioral mechanisms, both formal and informal thought, which all the employees, from top to bottom, work in close cooperation. Physical education person and staffs are selected and appointed on the basis of duty prescribed for academic and professional qualifications. Formal courses are formulated by university academic with specific objectives for which informal training comes through practical works and a field interaction with the student, athletes, faculty, and supporting staffs. The next four point is uh, directing and coordination. Directing involves use of authority, the ability to assert oneself within the prescribed parameters on individuals and environment. To direct is to guide or other the course of action of the organization, authoritatively using insight, understanding, sense of judgment, and discretion. Direction is authority on the move, guided and controlled by the will of the officers. It refers to skillful and intelligent use of authority. The physical education direction is required for construction use, maintenance of infrastructure, appointment, supervision of the personnel, budgeting, organization of competition, etc. The power of directing is vested in competent leadership. It used to require wide knowledge, command over the subject and a sense of the priority. Coordination is the lifeline of organization. A small, well-coordinated organization gives out a superior performance than disharmonized monolith. Coordination is the single most important parameter of efficiency and success of an organization. Organizing function 
are departmentalization, staffing, forming the office team into working group, providing better working conditions, preparation of guidelines and manual train the office personnel and practice them according to their knowledge and experience and skills. The next point, number five, is supervision and control. Supervision may mean many things to many people. In industry, supervision stands for overseeing. In business, it underlines direction and control. With a view, and enhance the human efficiency and ensure better output. In educational setting, supervision is an ingenious technique of improving instruction and exerting legitimate control on all the factors and conditions considered crucial to education process. The controlling process of the office management include guidance, directions and execution are positively corrected, but whether it practice the execution in being done as per the guidance and direction can only be determined through systematic supervision and a truthful controlling system. An office has a responsibility to provide such a system in order to derive the better result. Supervision has emerged as an important function of administration and an integral aspect of total management. As an organization grow, several layers of management, including supervision, comes into being. Personally, management at all levels are supervisions to all those who report directly to them. In physical education, teachers supervise students in their classes, playground, Supervisor oversee the activities of an entire area. Director of physical education at college, universities, personally perform supervisory duties. Supervision is an essential aspect of management in physical education and sports, which is multifarious functions, programs, process, procedure, methodologies, and curriculum. All require supervision at all levels. Supervisors should provide leadership. Supervising require leadership qualities that bring out the best individual's effort of each staff member and a total coordinate effort working towards the common goals. Controlling means keeping job standard, methods, procedure, functions, resource, conservation, etc. within strictly defined parameters of effectiveness and efficiency. It may mean creating interrelationship among the various components of organization and coordinating effort of all the sections of individuals and leadership. Controlling intent, petting or pulling up the people for what they do. A judicious selection of incentive health manager exert effective control on people. In physical education, teacher, course, exert themselves during the instruction in classes. The referee, umpire, and other game officers control the competition and head of the department assert control on the administration. Control is no suppression, but guidance and supervision. The next six point is evaluation. Evaluation refers to assessment of work and performance of the employee as well as organization as a whole. Performance of the people may be measured in a such manner that if facilitate comparisons, evaluation is a measuring stick of progress, performance and achievement. Evaluation can bring about some qualitative changes in the process, procedure and product. The organizational administration and instruction policies, practice, and program of physical education may be subjected to periodic evaluation in order to ascertain the correct present position. Communicating and decision-making are the sub-function of management. In fact, 
they are essential qualities of leadership. Decisions must be taken quickly and firmly so as to keep the wheel of the progress moving. Good managers are known for their ability to take speedy decisions. Evaluation is a basically concerned with estimation on the quality and quantity of operation, function, and performance. And the factor and forces crucial to the realization of the objectives and their effectiveness via as via input in terms of energy, effort, and resource. It intends checking feasibilities of an idea, testing, and the consequences of the proposed solution, evaluating group performance, helping the groups of, to evaluate its own performance against the standard. Precisely, evaluation helps the administration. Number one, make the institution effective and dynamic. Number two, realistically measure the progress in relation to the aim and objective set. And number three, modify the program, practice, and procedure if necessary in the light of existing factual conditions within an eye on future course of action. Evaluation is an integral part of the managerial system. It is an instrument through which the desirable changes in the practices, program, policies, process, and procedure of physical education can be brought about. It is a highly responsible activity which decides the fate of subject or object being evaluated. Evaluation of teachers, courses, instructor, and the director are essential both for academic and administrative reason. It helps to estimate their suitability for job, their competency as a professional, the quality of leadership they provide, and their weaknesses that need to be corrected. Generally, performance of a student at the examination, achievement of the institution in, is a game and a sports, Co-curricular activities, etc., are indices of the thesis performance. Number A, readjustment by the evaluation. One, it can be modified programs, practices, and procedures. If necessary, in the light of the existing factual conditions, with an eye on the future course of action. Point number two, it extends to which learning experiences and the teaching environment provided have been effective in bringing about quantitative and qualitative changes in the program. Personal and performance vis-a-vis -vis the pre-set objective and goals. Number three, it can extend to the pinpoint drawback in the system of incentive and award for performance and achievement in physical education and sports. Number B, improvement by evaluation. Evaluation facilitates improvement in the teaching and learning process. It understood the quantitative and qualitative changes in the program. It is to improve academic standard and not victimization of the teachers. Point number C, follow up by evaluation. One, to determine the degree or extent to which the objective of organization, institution, or a particular program are being achieved. Point number two, to assess the worth of the program in terms of its utility, importance, and effective for the community. Point number three, to prepare the program with the recommended standard and or those set by the other institutions. Point number four, to take the short-term and the long-term measures to correct inadequate and make up deficiencies in men and material, thereby improving the standard of the service and program. Concluding part of this topic, planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and coordination, supervision, and control evaluation, readjustment, improvement, and follow-up are the element and phases of management. 
The sports management also include many combinations of skill related to planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and coordinating, supervision, and control and evaluation. Within the extent of an organization or department whose primary product or service is related to sports and or physical activity. 